hive in the middle of the city is exceptionally powerful. I would advise not engaging it until you have secured the rest of the area. I'm not one for backing down from a fight. An admirable quality in a warfighter. But trust me on this one. Wait until the other hives have been taken out. Then you'll get your chance. Hello there, this is Ben Fournier of Benevolent Cytochorum. And uh, if I edited it right, uh, you ought to have seen the clip from uh, Starship Troopers Terran Command. Not my own playthrough, I don't have a computer that can play that yet. But uh, yeah, uh, the uh, character that's an INTJ in my opinion is the um, uh, Fleet Commander guy and the uh, Field Marshal lady, uh, she's an ISFP. So, uh, just illustrative. I could be wrong about their types. Anyway, um, this is partially based on C.S. Joseph's thing, uh, how he did stuff, except I'm using Open Office Calc. And uh, I am just going with simplified ego and id or shadow for the overshadowed functions. And that's off. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, you have, uh, here's the hero functions, introverted intuition, introverted feeling, parent functions, extroverted thinking, extroverted sensing, etc. So, while it's a function of least stress, the first one, you have subconscious probabilistic insight for INTJs and introverted feeling f for ISFPs. Same for INFPs, except they have any and SI here. One of the main differences is um, any usage. So for INTJs, it's a source of worries, where you have the whole trust versus paranoia thing. That can be a thing if focused on, like an ENTP mode. But uh, for ISFPs, their nemesis function is FE. They're sure about their own, how they feel about themselves, but they're worried about others kind of thing. While INTJs will be genera generally disregarding of the um, ethics of the group, while and uh, ISFPs will be generally disregarding of the uh, will or intentions of others kind of thing. There's um, NT support used to say like, um, I don't know why they privated all their videos, but uh, usually it's the uh, anima or inferior function th that makes up for the polar function. So for INTJs it's SE and uh, for ISFPs it's TE. So when having to uh, convince an ISFP, uh, no you can't have every cent I've earned. I need to have this money so I can buy my own food. And here's some ways to solve your own problems. Whereas if it's just, I don't want this, it's like, I don't care, because they care about what they want. But uh, INTJs will still worry about what others want, even though it's not like a stress mode as much as it is for uh, ISTJs or ISFJs, which have any as the inferior anima, or anima, so that, that's a valued one. Ego is valued. It is overshadowed or undervalued kind of thing but uh, yeah for uh, ISFPs it's more how do I make this work it, I think I have an anchoring bias for cursey like INTJs go best with ENFPs uh, and ISFPs would go best with ESTJs having opposite perception functions but the same judgment functions although different orders so I think for judgment function peripheral types uh, it's best to have the same ones just different orders so for ISFPs to ESTJs they're their heart their moral compass type of thing whereas for ESTJs it's their point of stress and uh, ESTJs for ISFPs will be more like uh, helping them figure out how to do stuff so yeah that sort of thing and uh, SI isn't as much a thing uh, that's annoying to ISFPs. I mean, they don't really care, say, about the rules. Like uh, ones I've worked with, they 
will watch movies on their phones while they're working and they don't care if they have supervisors looking over them and supervisors are often lazy and just playing on their phones as well. Uh, although sometimes they'll just pretend to care because they like being bossy. For uh, INTJs it's the extreme function. Uh, I'm using the word extreme rather than demon because I don't like that name. So it's it's you know a, what is in a name a rose by any other name. It's an extreme set. You switch from that to that and uh, for caring about affiliation rules that are just arbitrary nonsense INTJs are opposite ISTJs. Instead of being like this is what some idiot made up I'm going to follow it to the letter. INTJs are like what's the spirit of that rule and let's go with what it actually means or if it's a garbage rule th toss it out. For ISFPs it's like okay that's your rule I'll pretend to follow it uh, while you're watching uh, kind of thing. But um, for ISFPs they're gonna be more like that with TI that like having to understand things completely is what gonna be like their mode of uh, extreme there where it's like they they care more about what they like than how everything works so it's um you know for INTJs it's more like it's a it, it, it's like we we feel stupid because it's like uh, you know it, learning something you have to have a goal to it there has to be a way to make it useful rather than just you know applied science engineering versus basic science understanding for its own sake so it's like we can feel stupid because it's like just tedious to learn things for their own purpose that's an INTP thing having TI hero but uh, INTJs will feel stupid because it's like uh, I don't see the use of this any more than learning it to X amount for ISFPs it's like yeah I don't really care but when they get into the mode of you know their INTP uh, well super ego is one other form of the same thing where it's like you flip these upside down the any polar but uh, TI extreme they'll be like uh, you know my ex-wife was an INFP and she could get into this whole kind of this is my way kind of crap so that's sort of what that's like probably but uh, yeah for the most part it's their shadow is an ESFJ and uh, yeah their ego is this though so they'll care most about what they like how they feel about things they do care about the sensory experiences of others well for INFPs that's the INFP polar function and uh, they're uh, they settle on the most probable based on the data they gather kind of thing I know SI is sort of like organized data gathering SE is just let's observe everything kind of gathering like uh, one of the uh, most uh, famous characters at least I, I liked uh, Stargate Atlantis I don't know if it's famous anymore but uh, uh, Colonel Shepard there he's an ISFP uh, he's sort of like uh, the ISTP John McLean I know some type John McLean is ESTP but I think he's the ISTP he has FI extreme that's what I see anyway so they both are like parental toward the sensory experiences of others being all Heidi and whatnot uh, but uh, yeah They'll, they'll care more about that than uh, the INFP or INTP in general unless it's something learned but uh, yeah they'll, they'll settle on what's most probable to them and uh, in extreme stress they will be kind of barky so but uh, INTJs are gonna be parental about uh, how others think and uh, rather than inferior aspirational. ISFPs go best with the STJs having TE hero. So it, it's kind of strange like I, I got along fairly well with my ex-wife for the most part early on but it's just like how do I fix this? How do I solve this? All that sort of stuff. It, it's kind of nice. It's better than ISFJs or INFJs where it's TI uh, child and TE polar where it's like I don't listen to your reason whatsoever. I have my own thoughts and it's like okay good for you so having someone that's TE aspirational inferior that that's 
easier to cope with for an INTJ or ISTJ than someone that's just completely ignoring any suggestions you make. That is a pain, you know. But, uh, yeah. Either way, it's, uh, let's see. I can't think of much else to say. Uh, FE, yeah, th this is going to be a hazard too here because ISFPs and INFPs care about uh, their own feelings most and INTJs are going to be like, uh, what do you want me to do about that? We, we make up for that with SE, caring about the sensory experiences of others like buying gifts or f affection or stuff like that. Like, we do care, it's just, uh, okay, your feelings are this, how do I deal with that? It's just like INTJs have their wants, their willpower as their most valued, least stressful function, and ISFPs have any, which is just like, eh, I don't care what you want, I want this kind of thing. So it's kind of a mismatch in those ways. That's kind of important ish. But, uh, you know, any two types can make it work out if they bother to try. Just the more stressful you make it, the less probable it will be to keep lasting kind of thing. Anyhow, so this is the first I'm doing of this and uh, I'll see how much downvoting I get because everyone has anchoring bias for their own schools of thought. Take care everyone and try not to go crazy.